In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create these unique animated brush strokes. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. And yes, they're completely made inside of After Effects. Paintbrushes are made of hairs which draw lines when you dip them in color and drag them along a surface. And that's exactly what we're gonna recreate now. So let's start. First of all, we need a new comp. Of course, which we call brush stroke one. HD resolution is fine, five seconds is long enough. Next, we grab the pen tool and draw the first horizontal line from left to right. Hold shift to keep the line straight. No fill, stroke width, six pixels. Color, white for now. Let's name the shape lines. We open the contents property and duplicate the shape. We open the new path property and adjust the path position. Move it below and the length, and so on. Change the width to 10 or even 15 pixels for some of the lines. 10 lines overall should be fine for now. You can easily adjust the brush later. Awesome! Next, we select the lines layer. Use the effects and presets window to add roughen edges. Edge type roughen, border around 4, depending on the thickness of your lines. Let's set the complexity to 10. Next, we select the contents property, click on the Add menu to add trim paths to the whole group, not just one of the shapes. Next, we grab the brush stroke comp and drag it onto the comp symbol in the project window to add it to a new comp. Let's name it Animation. The thing is, we don't want to go into the brush comp to animate it. It would be much more convenient to control the animation from here, in the main comp, right? So, we select the comp, go to Effects, Expression Controls and add a slider control. Next, we click on the Brush Stroke 1 comp panel here in the timeline. Right click on the name and undock the panel. Then we link, <laughs> actually we need to open the slider control property first. And link the end value to the slider control. Here's the expression we created. We close the undocked panel. Now we are able to animate the brush stroke here in the main comp. Let's name it slider control 1, as we're gonna use a few more. Let's quickly animate it. 0 at the beginning, we set a keyframe, 100 at 10 frames. We open the graph editor to edit the speed graph and slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. Awesome, right? Before we move on, let's take a quick moment to look at some amazing animation courses by Domestica. You've seen his awesome work on Instagram for sure. In his course, Matt Voice shows you how to animate letters in a unique, dynamic and fun way. From concept to design to animation and application. Or learn to create motion graphics for social media. Alex shows you how to illustrate and animate a sticker pack in his incredible style. And how to share the GIFs online. It's all about combining 2D and 3D at the moment. Learn to tell unique animated stories and using different techniques and styles to bring it all together. I've added the links to the courses in the description. And even better, use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. So we animated the straight brush stroke, which looks a bit unnatural. To change that, let's add CC Bandit. We position the start and end, and then slightly bend it. Cause who's able to brush a perfect straight line, right? That's better. Then let's duplicate the brush stroke one comp and add it to the main comp as well. Let's rotate the two strokes so that they cross each other. They're moving at the same time. Although we just animated one comp, it's because they're both still controlled by the same expression. So we need to change that. We copy the slider control from the first brush and paste it to the second one. Let's rename the slider, slider control 2. We copied the animation as well, but nothing changed. Plus we need to change the expression. We need to replace brush stroke 1 with 2 and it's slider control too. Let's check it out.
Awesome, now it works. By the way, if you use expressions, never move the layer, cause it'll mess things up. Move the keyframes instead to change the timing. Layers always start at the beginning. If you want to change the color of your brush stroke, one option would be to add a fill effect. A second option would be to add a gradient ramp. Which looks nice if you choose very similar colors. The question is how to get a round brush stroke. Let's duplicate a stroke comp, add it to the main comp, copy and paste the slider control, rename it slider control 3 and change the expression brush stroke 3 slider control 3. We go back into the main comp. And we use the puppet tool. We click on the pin icon. The first step is to add a few pins along the brush stroke. Five or six should probably be enough. You can see them here in the mesh property and even animate the positions if you like. Then we grab the pins and form a round shape. Let's check it out. And by the way, no stroke looks like the other. So you probably need to adjust the shape of the strokes and not just duplicate them. Which is no problem, cause all the animation happens in the main comp. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one, bye guys!